Hello students. Let us study some identities based on alpha and beta. Now these identities we are going to use in chapter number 2 of Math 1 that is quadratic equation. Now what are those identities? The first one is alpha square plus beta square is equal to alpha plus beta the whole square minus 2 alpha beta. Now before we jump to the second I second identity, let us first understand from where does this formula came. So students, uh, you have studied somewhere in 7th standard the formula a plus b the whole square. Now what is a plus b the whole square? It is a square plus 2ab plus b square. Now shift this plus 2ab towards left hand side. So what we get? We get a plus b the whole square minus 2ab equal to a square plus b square. Now if we write in the place of a square alpha, that means we are going to substitute a as alpha and b as beta. So what we get? We get alpha square plus beta square is equal to alpha plus beta the whole square minus 2 alpha beta which is nothing but our first identity. So that means this is not anything new we are studying. This is the same, uh, same identity based on a plus b the whole square, a minus b the whole square, a cube plus b cube, a, min a cube minus b cube, a plus b the whole cube, a minus b the whole cube. The only thing is we have modified it and in the place of a we are writing uh, alpha and in the place of b we are writing beta. Okay, so no need to buy hard it, just understand it, how the formula has been derived. Now the second formula of alpha and beta is again alpha square plus beta square is equal to alpha minus beta the whole square plus 2 alpha beta. So again from where it has been derived from the formula a minus b the whole square. It's a square minus 2ab plus b square. So when minus 2ab will go towards LHS, we get a minus b the whole square plus 2ab is equal to a square plus b square which again in the place of a if we write alpha we get alpha square in the place of b if we write beta we get beta square which is equals to alpha minus beta the whole square plus 2 alpha beta this is our second formula students now the third one now for the third one we require the formula of uh, a plus b the whole cube a plus b the whole cube. What is a plus b the whole cube? If you remember, a plus b the whole cube is a cube plus 3a square b plus 3ab square plus b cube. Now if we take common factor between these two terms, the middle two terms, we get a plus b the whole cube equal to a cube. Here we can take common as 3ab. What remains in the bracket is a plus b plus b cube. Now let us shift this 3ab towards LHS. So what we get? We get a plus b the whole cube minus 3ab plus 3ab will go there. It will become minus. Uh, the sign inside the bracket will not change. Equals to a cube plus b cube. Now students, if we write in the place of a alpha, and the place of b beta, we get a third formula and that is alpha cube plus beta cube is equal to alpha plus beta the whole cube 
minus 3 alpha beta into alpha plus beta. The same with the formula A minus B the whole cube. A minus B the whole cube. Now, what is A minus B the whole cube? A minus B the whole cube is A cube minus 3A square B plus 3AB square minus b cube. I repeat the formula students. a minus b the whole cube is a cube minus 3a square b plus 3ab square minus b cube. So when we take common uh, from the middle two terms, we get 3ab common and in bracket a minus b. So when this minus 3ab will go that side, it will become plus 3ab. So we get a minus b the whole cube plus 3ab in bracket a minus b is equals to a cube minus b cube. Now, if we write this in the form of alpha and beta, we get our fourth formula as alpha cube minus beta cube is equal to alpha minus beta the whole cube plus 3 alpha beta minus, sorry, into alpha minus beta. So again and again, I repeat the students, no need to by heart the formula without understanding it. If you have understood it, so it is a very easy identities. And the last one students, the last one. The fifth one is the last one and it is again based on a minus b the whole square. a minus b the whole square is nothing but a square minus 2ab plus b square. But suppose uh, if I want uh, in the place of minus 2ab plus 2ab. So how can we bring that without changing any values? I will write here plus 2ab plus b square as it is. Now to balance this. To balance this, we will write minus 2ab, minus 2ab. And see what we have done uh, here, I have added one extra term plus 2ab. To balance it, I have added minus 2ab. So what is plus 2ab minus 2ab? Nothing but zero. And this is the uh, minus 2ab of our step, of our equation. So minus 2ab was already there. So that we will write it as it is. So extra two terms we have written plus 2ab and minus 2ab. Now why we are doing this? Because this first three terms make one formula. And we are going to write the first three terms in the form of that formula. What is that formula? It is a minus b the whole square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square is nothing but a plus b the whole square minus 2ab minus 2ab will give us minus 4ab. So here we have derived one formula where we have both a minus b the whole square a plus b the whole square and we are going to write in the form of alpha minus beta the whole square is equal to alpha plus beta the whole square minus 4 alpha beta. So these are the five identities based on alpha and beta, which will help us to solve few sums in the chapter quadratic equation. Now let us start with exercise 2.5. Question number five. Exercise 2.5, question number five. But before we start with that sum, there is one more topic to be studied, students, to be learned. That is the relationship between alpha, beta and the coefficients of the quadratic equation. So what is the relationship between alpha, beta and the coefficient of the quadratic equation? Suppose let alpha and beta be the roots, be the roots of 
equation. Now let us take the standard form equation. Ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0. Okay. So here we derive one formula students. And what is that formula? The formula is sum of roots. Sum of roots is equal to minus coefficient of x square minus coefficient of x not x square I'm sorry minus coefficient of x upon coefficient of x square upon coefficient of x square that means the formula which we get is sum of roots. Roots are alpha and beta. Sum means addition. Alpha plus beta equals to minus b upon a. So this is the first formula that we are going to use in few sums. Alpha plus beta equals to minus b upon a. And the next is product of roots. Product of roots is equal to constant upon coefficient of x square. Constant upon coefficient of x square. So therefore we get alpha into beta equal to c upon a. This is our next formula alpha into beta is equal to c upon a. So what we have studied regarding alpha beta, we studied five identities of alpha beta and two formulas that is alpha plus beta equal to minus b upon a and alpha into beta is equals to c upon a. Now let us consider one sum. Now this is exercise 2.5. Question number five. And the question is, sum of the roots of quadratic equation is double their product. Find K if uh, equation is... So one equation is given here, students. Let us first copy that equation. x square minus 4kx plus k plus 3 equal to 0. And they are telling us that the sum of this roots is double the multiplication of this roots. So that means first let us find the sum of the root and the product of the root. How to find? By using the formula. So what we will write here first. First students will compare and get the values of A, B, C. So we are writing comparing with A square plus B, X plus C equal to 0. Therefore, A is equal to the coefficient of X square students is 1 comma b is equal to the coefficient is minus 4k and c is equal to the constant is k plus 3. And then we will assume let alpha and beta be the roots of the given equation. So let us use the first formula that is alpha plus beta. Alpha plus beta equals to minus b upon a. So therefore alpha plus beta is equal to minus b upon a. There is nothing but what? Minus b minus of minus 4k upon a is what? 1. So therefore alpha plus beta is equals to plus 4k. We'll underline this. We got the sum of roots here. Okay. Now the product of roots. That is C upon A. 
So I'll find to beta is equal to k plus 3 upon 1, which is nothing but k plus 3. We'll underline this k plus 3. Now, since it is given that sum of roots, since sum of roots is equal to, is equal to twice means 2 into the product of roots. Product of roots. It's given in the question, students. Hence, we are writing bracket reason given. Therefore, alpha plus beta, that is sum of roots, is 2 into alpha into beta. Now, let us substitute the values. Alpha plus beta, we got 4k. 2 bracket k plus 3. Therefore, open the bracket, students. We get 2 into k, 2k, 2 into 3, that is 6, plus 2k will come this side. We get minus 2k equal to 6. Therefore, we get 2k is equal to 6. 2 is getting multiplied with k. It will move to other RHS and get divided. So therefore, k is equals to 6 divided by 2, that is 3. And hence, our final answer, k is equal to 3. I hope you have understood this sum, students. We'll continue the next sum, question number six, in the next lecture. Till that, uh, keep learning, students. Keep working hard. Thank you very much.